Okay. I'm going to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to take a tour around the front of the shop here. Um, in the back is our sale fabric. We are not going to do just our couple day sale where it gets very busy in here due to social distancing. What we're doing, we have two tables full of uh, fabric and another row in front of the cutting table and some cuddle that's 50% off. We will be adding to that each day, um, probably through the end of the month. And um, rather that way it'll be safer to keep uh, social distanced rather than having so many people in the shop at the same time. Uh, those of you who saw my earlier post, the UPS man and the FedEx man both brought us good stuff today. Um, and a little bit on Tuesday, which I teased you with on Wednesday, said we'll show you later in the week. This is what came in on Tuesday. This panel is just absolutely beautiful. Looks like he's on a waterfall. It's just gorgeous. And then down here are all the coordinates that go with it. I'm going to just pull a couple out and have Cheryl show them to you. The blenders that go with this line are just absolutely beautiful. Northcott did just a great job on this. And then there's one that kind of looks like ice. And there are a couple that are um, kind of bubbles. Absolutely beautiful. So that was a fun one that just came in. I'm going to walk along here. Most of these things you've seen already. They've been here for a bit. Those of you who are new to the store, we kind of call this our gallery wall kits and projects we've been working on. The middle table here has a lot of new books. We've talked about the books by Annie. Um, most of these are $9.99, have five or six projects in them at least. Um, so you're paying the price of a pattern and getting a whole book with multiple projects in them. So those are really fun, some neat projects. All kinds of goodies. Hopefully everybody can hear me now. Yep, we've got thumbs up. Sounds good. And I'm going to just step back to this little table. Um, this is the 25 quick and easy projects. Cheryl made a number of these and Penny. This is just a cute little lunch bag is one of the projects in this book. This is one of the um, needle um, sewing caddies that you put over the arm of your couch has a pin cushion and some little pockets for your things. We've got kits on those. And then these little tote boxes, Cheryl did in three different um, types of interfacing. So you can kind of see the difference on how thick they are. If you're in the shop, you can check those out. Um, that one is fun. It's made from the Bolta fabric that's made to look like a tin ceiling. So really a cute project. And we've got kits on those available. And back here, We've got just a couple boxes of new small sewing machines, blenders you're used to. We're not going to walk in. Anne, say hello. Thanks, Anne. <laughs> um, the sale stuff is in the back area. Still our Halloween and kind of fall area. Those of you that love the pumpkin, we did get a few more in. Those are back up on the website. And we're going to head down this way. This corner we just redid a bit. We have so many panels and people coming in saying, I've got these beautiful panels and I just don't know what to do with them. These are all sewing basket originals. There's 15 different patterns that all work with different types of panels, from small squares to whole panels vertical, whole panels horizontal. Again, here, placemats, toppers, quilts, all different things that work out great. So if you've got some of those panels at home and you're not sure what to do with them, or you come in and see a beautiful panel like that lovely moose we just saw, that would work great in some of these patterns. So those, we kind of pulled them all together. The spinny racks are still all of our other sewing basket original patterns, but we kind of pulled that area to focus on panels. And then we're gonna come across here if you were watching on Wednesday after Wise Guys, we popped up and said when we came up from downstairs filming, we um, had all kinds of batiks in. They're now filed into the wall. The other thing that came in yesterday is a lot of blender batiks. The ones that came in on Wednesday were mostly prints. They had a lot of activity going on, and um, there were about 40 bolts of those. What came in yesterday 
was about a dozen bolts that are just nice blenders in a lot of different colors. And those work great for all your projects and lots of different colors, ranges from light to dark. These couple blue ones up here were new, a little tight in there, but some really pretty new bolts. Hi ladies. Hi. We're just in the midst of a video. Wave to the camera <laughs> or not. Um, so that's what's new. Um, some of the purples here as well. We're going to just come around this way. <coughs> Kathy just finished this quilt. This roll is one of the, um, excuse me, Robert Kaufman, their artisan batik, one of their strip sets. This is a, the cathedral pattern. Turned out just beautiful in that strip set. We've had these for a bit. It's always hard to tell what they look like when they're in a roll, but it turns out just beautifully. And then we're going to head back in here to kind of our brights area. This is still set up for fall. And the crib area is kind of cats and dog fabric, small little animal prints. We've got a lot of new things coming in that aren't here yet. And we showed you flannels on Wednesday. We've got a number of other flannels that came in. So lots of cute kids prints, the polka dots, the plaids. Um, we held these out the other day. Sure, I'll just kind of go across there and show you what they look like here. But that gives us a nice wall full of kids flannels. And those are not on the website. If you're not in our area, you can always call and say you watch this video and I want a piece of the cow fabric that Elaine held up or I saw the little giraffes. We can figure it out, send pictures back and forth if we need to. Um, we just don't have as much time as we'd like to put yardage onto the website. So we're going to move around here for just a moment. Most of this was on the last tour. This corner is kind of farm and animal prints, all kinds of cute patterns and um, prints, chickens, cows, eggs. We've got some cute chicken tracks and um, chicken wire as well. And across here, this is sort of our kids wall and our brights. This cube is all brand new. These just came in from Dear Stella. And there's a lot of just fun prints. This one is teacups. This one is also teacups. And then a couple blenders here, really cute plaid. And then a floral with little tiny birds on it that coordinates with these birds. And then some bright flowers. And then these last three coordinate with the flowers and the little llamas. So those are all new from Dear Stella. Just came in today. And across here, we talked the other day about the cute new kids panel that came in with the animals. And we set up all of our AOK -okay baby patterns along here. This wall, all of these patterns, it's four half yard cuts to make a baby quilt. They're all about the size of these two. We do half yard cuts as well, for, uh, packages of four half yard cuts. A lot of those are on the website. When you're on the website, sewingbasket.biz, go to the shop page. Down the shop page, on the left, there's a category. If you click fabric, you have two choices when you click fabric. One is by color, and the other is by bundle. Obviously, if you pick color, you can pick yellow, blue, green. If you pick by bundle, then you have the choice of six packs of fat quarters, half yard cuts, one yard cuts that are bundled with coordinating fabric, and we also have a lot of wide backs on there. We did three yard cuts of wide back. So that is all um, new as well. And then over here is the big ta-da. Cheryl's trying not to trip on the bed as she's holding the camera and not making you motion sick too. This is Jax, which we had gotten about two weeks ago. All of this just came in today. We expanded our line of jot dots that we've had, but picked up more colors. But this is called Starlet, and it comes in all different colors, and it's stars 
and kind of little circles or maybe stars and clouds. And it's in, I think, 25 different colors. And so we kind of turn this corner into our bright blenders. So we've got jot dots, we've got starlet, we've got jacks, and then this side is all of our um, solid fabrics. So lots of fun new ones for those bright projects as well. And then we're going to head up into the middle room. Those of you who watched um, Wednesday Wise Guys, Cheryl demoed how to make the Harlequin runner. This was the runner that she was working on and showing you in the demonstration. It's now finished, quilted, and there are kits available on it. Move the basket. Oh, sure. Okay. So it's four blocks long. It finishes 14 and a half by 65. And the kits are $28.99. So those are available. The Harlequin runner pattern is free to you on the internet. If you go again to sewingbasket.biz, we're going to be doing our Santa's workshop again this year, which I'll talk about in a minute. But to get this free pattern, you're going to go to sewingbasket.biz, click on the menu page called Santa, and you'll see a download button to get the Harlequin runner pattern. That's free. And our Wednesday Wise Guys video is up as well on how to do that. So that's there. Santa's workshop is going to be next week, Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. We'll be sending out an email. We'll be posting updates. I did put it on Facebook as an event. So you can say you're going there and get a notification. And that is our program that is helping Santa get you the Christmas wish list you'd like to get. Details are coming. There's a little video that explains it all on that Santa page of our website. So that's coming up. And up here, we showed you these, most of these last week. These are all the blenders that go with the runner that Cheryl just made, the camping fabric, some just really nice earth tones, the cute little kids camping fabric. And then across here, we did just get in another group of uh, many bolts of white on white, which we had been short on. And I think that's most of what's new. Um, quick tour of what's happening. Again, pay attention to the sewingbasket.biz Santa page. Everything that you've seen, you can click on the shop page. The one thing you're going to notice on Wednesday evening is we're going to do Santa's workshop virtual. Those of you who have done it here in the store know what it's about. Um, it used to be come in the store. It was an in-house event. Obviously, with everything that's happening, we're doing it virtual this year instead. It is going to be on Facebook Live on our Sewing Basket page right where you're watching this video. And all of the products that we'll be talking about will be on our website. So it'll all be within Sewing Basket, either Facebook page or website. It will not be through comments sold. Um, you'll be again to see that. We're also creating and doing a little bit of changing with our Facebook groups. You'll see some posts there. If you're in our quilting group or our 2020 group, we're kind of combining those groups. 2020 is obviously winding down. We're looking forward to the end of this year. Somebody just asked if you still need an appointment. You, oh, yep. Yeah, Cheryl said someone asked about an appointment. You do not need an appointment. You do need to wear a mask. The only reason I don't have mine on is we're filming and we're not near anybody. You need a mask and you need um, to sanitize your hands when you come in. So other than that, we're open our regular hours um, Tuesday 9 to 5, Wednesday 9 to 7, Thursday and Friday 9 to 5, Saturday 9 to 3. We are closed on Sundays and Mondays. Um, as I was saying about Facebook, you'll see a few changes in the groups. What we're doing is combining the Sewing Basket Quilting Group and the 2020 Group. Over about the next week, you'll see some posts there, um, and we're changing the graphic at the top. So if you think, oh, am I still in that group? You are. The picture's just going to look a little bit different so that we can have all of that together as 2020 winds down. You'll still have access to the 2020 information from the quilting page. So you'll see that changing. Other than that, 
Most of the changes are boxes and boxes of fabric coming in. Um, hope to see you soon. Cheryl, anything else? No, I think that's good. I think we're great. Thanks for joining us. And uh, we will see you next Wednesday at 1 for Wise Guys. And next Wednesday night, the 11th at 6.30, will be Santa's workshop. Look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye.